What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. So usually what happened is that if you kept just kept adding to a loser, you didn't have a plan in the first place. Okay. So uh, it's like uh, you uh, getting into a trade. It's more like a trade on the fly, but you didn't have any plan beforehand. That's why you kept adding to a loser. That's why you think every line, it you know, I mean, eventually the stock is gonna go down, right? So that's what you thought. And so uh, today I'm just gonna go over quickly on a few examples so you guys can see where would be the optimal way to kind of stop stop out, right? Or And uh, most of the time, yeah, uh, I just wanna make something clear here that I use hard stops all the time. And that's one of the main thing that I'm using. I don't care, you know, if it stops me out, you know, uh, at the top, uh, you know, I, I could have, you know, top tick the stock and, you know, I probably would be fine with that, you know, so it really doesn't matter. I just want to get out. That's why usually I have some sort of ultimate stop in my head before I'm even placing a trade, before I'm even thinking about, uh, you know, going to trade this and that. Let's say I'm, I'm going to stop out at 1807. Okay. So I draw a line here. This is my ultimate stop. I don't care what happens after that. Okay. It, it could really top take me at the top. You know, I got stop out here and then it kept tanking, you know, that's fine. But that's my ultimate stop. That's where I'm going to stop out. You know, I have to make kind of this plan before I even placing a trade. So once I have my predefined stop, like my ultimate stop in, now it's the time or now is the point where I need to fight for the price. Let's say I want to short the first resistance. Okay. And 1807, that will be my stop. Okay. So a stock tops out here and pop back here. So now I need to fight for the price. What, what that means is fighting for a price is that when you have a predefined stop like this, you need to fight for price so you can get a best average you could get right so that's where you can minimum the risk you know if it's real uh, near the stop that means you can add more size so basically uh, what I'm trying to say is that let's say your account it's 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 really all relative to your account size and you know how much you tolerate uh, risking you know kind of amount uh, dot like the dollar uh, kind of amount uh, is up to you uh, let's say I'm if I'm using ten thousand dollar account, right? So two percent per trade. That's what I like. I would like to use. So that's two hundred bucks. So I have to size uh, accordingly to my account and also my risk management kind of part. So uh, that being said, uh, if I'm using ten thousand dollar account, so that means I can lose like you know that I'm willing to lose like two hundred bucks. Two hundred, like two hundred bucks is not gonna affect me that much. So. Uh, let's say I'm going to get in here at 17. So now I know my ultimate stop is 1807, right? And let's say stock pops here and I'm going to get some at 17. 17, that's my entry, you know, and I probably would have add some more 170, uh, 1750. Let's say that, you know. So in this case, I have to calculate the size beforehand. Okay, so if it's uh, 17, I'm going to, you know, hit 100 shares. Uh, if it hits to like 18, that's 100 bucks, right? So I can add another one here, 100 shares, and you know. So now my average would be 200 shares regarding like, uh, you know, 17, 30, and 17, 20. So in that case, I'm risking uh, really like, you know, uh, 70 or 80 cents here on that 200 shares, which is 140 bucks. Uh, you know, it, that's pretty much, uh, you know, it's it's pretty close to that $200 uh, dollar sign that I'm okay with losing, right? So because you have a predefined risk 
and when you pre-planning your trade like this and if you stick to it right that's you know going to take a lot of pressure off uh, because uh, the reason is that why when you pre-planning your trade and when you accepting the fact that you know worst case scenario I'm going to lose this and that much you know that will help you tremendously with the psychology like you not uh, you know trade on the fly uh, you are not fearful of the unknown because uh, you know what was is gonna do I mean you know you have predefined stop already 1707 you know if you get in here it stops you out so 140 bucks you accepting the fact that you are going to lose that much money already so there's nothing to be afraid of right okay so uh, you know one of the way uh, that you can trade is wait for that stuff and then you can sh you know scale back the bounce here you know uh, to that halfway or you know just scale back the bounce and risking over this high okay so uh, in this case uh, stock pops and uh, you know 18 uh, 1482 or something uh, drop here bounce back yeah so you can put a stop above this line or maybe if you want to use whole whole and half dollar mark 15 okay oh four or oh two or oh whatever you know over 15 the thesis is no longer valid because stock try to to push overview app stuff right now it shouldn't you know break that high because if it breaks this high likely uh, that means if uh, like uh, the stock pops here and then dips at view app again the trend is still holding right so likely it's gonna go higher so 15 that's your ultimate stop or that will be my ultimate stop that's one way how to trade that view app reclaim the other way is okay so you want to anticipate you want to be scaling towards that view app because because the fact that you don't know where the stock is gonna pop and you have like an idea that okay the stock is broken under view app now this is the first time you're trying to push that view app now you want to scale into that bounce right and uh, your goal is to see if stock is going to reject that view app and continue to fade okay so if you are anticipating the pop to that view app you have to look at the left here you have to define the lines okay so uh, let's see uh, let's say you're going to scale up and I would always say, uh, you know, I, I would always look at the left to figure it out, you know, what's the right. So in this case, I can see this is the line, you know, view app, of course, is the line, one line. So I probably would scale here some near view app. Let's say 14, just let's say 1410. And I can see another line here, 1450. And then I can see a line here at 15. And then maybe even at this. But this is, you know, 1550 that's pretty far away from view app so if it pops that much likely it's you know it's a you know pretty much a view app reclaim if it pops this and then dips at view app probably it's going to go higher so so i usually like kind of use the two lines and i don't want my lines to be further or like f really far away from the view app okay uh, because my point is to short into the view app and risk over view app as my stops because uh, I want to see that rejections right away not like you know grinding higher and then reclaim view app later on but since I want to scale in into the, in, in, in into those lines that's why I have to, you know, kind of define where I would stop out no matter what, right? So in this case, you can see a line right here and then a right line right here. I mean, 15, that's pretty above that 14. 14 is the view app, so it's pretty far away. And I think that should be good enough as a stop if, you know, it stop pops, uh, you know, over that 15. Probably it's going to be my stop. So that's how you can define the stops regarding uh you know that and uh, also guys uh it's really about uh line to line and and uh it's not just about you know if you if i'm risking five cents two cents ten cents and you know it doesn't work like that you know it doesn't uh work exactly like that i mean you know i I, I would say uh, you know okay so if my if I get my entry at 1497 let's say okay 
and I'm, I'm gonna stop out at five o whatever uh, two or three okay so I can risk few cents here but I have to wait for that entry to get there first right so and that's you know that's my tolerate and that's my willingness to kind of lose on that particular trade it's like you know if I'm up on the day in the morning and I don't want to be uh, you know giving back the profits that I just made in the morning or in the, in, in the pre-market here right uh, let's say you made some in, in at the open right here at the, you know near 14 and you made almost like a buck already and you don't want to give that back and so that's why uh, I want to aim for the kind of good risk reward kind of play and you know with uh, more size right thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here